Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, there are a couple of things that I need to show you real quick. I have not reviewed the Consumer Protection Act for quite some time. Now, I call it the Consumer Protection Act. Many people call it whatever they want. Congress can call it whatever they want. This is an act to protect consumers. We're going to go to 51. So this is 82 stat 51. Five one. You can get to this website. Use United States Code. Sorry. So US Code dot house. Sorry, got to get the full title for you. US Code dot house dot gov forward slash stat s t a t viewer dot h t m. That's how you get to the statute at large. You can see the actual statute at large. Okay, now you really want to go to 82 stat 152 and 153. This lets you know when you have the right to rescind a contract. And it lets you know when they fail to disclose things to you. Well, what we've done for each of our clients is we've documented, pay attention, where they have not disclosed certain information. Wait till you guys find out what a consumer is. Go ahead and take a look. I've already known. People have been talking about it for months, years, dates, blah, blah, blah. Whew. Wait till you find out. I promise you're going to be a, you going to like it. Now we can go to 40. Do we go to 50 or 49? 49. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, Let's see if this is the right one. It's either 49 or 47. That's the annual percentage rate. So it ain't 49. That's right. I didn't do 49. It's 47. 47. I said 40. <laughs> uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, pay attention so that you get it. Definition. The term credit means the right granted by a creditor to a debtor to defer payment of debt or to incur debt or to defer its payment. The term credit, that's what it means, ladies and gentlemen. You have the right to defer payment. You have the right to incur debt. This is your right, not theirs. You have this right. You have the right to defer payment. I didn't say this. They said that. Okay, this is for credit transactions. Remember, I love their definition for consumer. Where's that consumer definition? Consumer is used with reference to this title to any credit transaction. Consumer credit transaction characterizes the transactions between one party in which the party to whom the credit is offered or extended is a natural person. And the money property, or services that are subject to the transaction are primarily for personal use, family use, household use, agricultural use. Wonder, wonder, wonder. I wonder who wrote the book of love. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I wonder if they knew that the Uniform Commercial Code, that recommendation junk in the Uniform Commercial Code, Article 9, Section 102, where it defines a consumer transaction, it defines what a consumer is, that it speaks about consumer goods, goods that are used for personal use, family use, household use, agricultural use. Ladies and gentlemen, you are agriculture, but you didn't know it. You are agriculture, and everything you do is for agricultural use. Stop being hoodwinked and put through the hokey doke because that's what they're doing to you. Understand whom you be. Now we're going to go to 45 because you can't drive that speed limit. Is it 45? I think it's 46. It's 46. I apologize. It's the next one. So all we got to do is click next. Okay. Now we're going to give you the information. Everybody wants to go to the stupid acts, uh, not acts, but US code. <sighs> Sorry. They'd be pissing me off when they want to do that. This is an act to safeguard the consumer in connection with the utilization of credit by requiring full disclosure of the terms and conditions of the finance charges in credit transactions and an offering to extend credit by restricting the garnishment of wages 
and by creating a national commission on consumer finance to study and make recommendations on the need for further regulations in consumer finance industry and for other purposes. What are the other purposes? Disclosure, credit cost disclosure. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the act. I call it the Consumer Protection Act, but this is the Consumer Credit Protection Act. But I call it the Consumer Protection Act, people. They're only extending credit. They're not giving you money. There's no money. We're in a banking holiday. All normal banking activities have been suspended. There is no money. All they extend is credit. Dollar bills are not money. It's not funding. It has no value. Banking activities have been suspended. Some of you are catching on to what I'm saying. Ooh, so I want you to go and I want you to pay attention to the Consumer Credit Protection Act. Now, what you're going to find is it's directly associated with the Truth in Lending Act. Well, isn't that something? Findings and declared purposes. This is where Congress is telling you why they needed to do this. They needed to protect the consumer because guess what? <laughs> These banks were taking advantage of the American people, and that would violate their rights under the New Deal. The deal was supposed to benefit the people. It did not benefit the people, and that created a conundrum. Oh, my God! All right, ladies and gentlemen, I was just taking the time to bring this information to you real quick and to send you here so you can do your own research. Okay? You, you can save it. This is how you save it. I've already saved a couple of pages because I needed it. You go to save image as to have, to have. This is how you get to have it, see? And you save it as an image. And then you use a PDF viewer to view it. Now, you can actually pull up the written document because all you're doing, pay attention. One, it's the Consumer uh, Lending Act, but you also, the Truth in Lending Act. But you want the Consumer C Credit Protection Act. That's what you want. The Consumer Credit Protection Act. So watch this. Wake up. That's how you get there from there. But one second. Wake up. The Consumer Credit Protection Act dot PDF. Stop listening. It's right here, the Office of Justice Program. Uh, why would they have the Consumer Protection Act on their website? Because that's their job, is to protect the consumer. You guys didn't know that that's what the Department of Justice is there for, is to protect the consumer? It's called the Department of Justice. That's a... Uh, what do you call it? Um, what's the name of that stupid thing? Executive department, administrative department. It's not a government department. They were put in place to protect you, not the president. The Department of Justice was put in place to protect you. Now, notice all of the bills this act is associated with. So I will put this link for this act where you can copy and paste and look and go and find what you needs to find. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. This is where we going to send y'all. We got our definitions and that's that 181, 169, 170 and so forth. This is where we just were. Remember when I told you um, 146 and so on and so forth? This is where you at. See, this is the actual act credit transactions. That's the stuff y'all need to know. All right, I got to go because I have a meeting in a minute. We're trading. Oh, I want to show y'all. See, we offer free trading, free trading opportunities. Got to go back and look at the video. Choice, C-H-O-Y-C. See, I was $1,000 in the hole, but I knew this was going to go down, so I just waited. Patient, patient people. And now it's 417. Do I get out now? Do I just collect my $400 and say, I have one? Look, I have one. No, because I know it's going to go down further. Wait a minute, but what if it doesn't go down further? What if it just stops there and goes all the way back up? I'm okay on that too. I haven't lost anything. Okay, 
I'm waiting for it to get to 700. Then I'm coming out. Just that simple. Now, right now it's going up because trading has just opened up on the East Coast. So I just have to be patient for the day. That's, we teach people all about the schemes of training. This is my philosophy right here. I don't teach this to people. This is how I do things. But this is what we do. So ladies and gentlemen, we're here to help the consumer. We're here to, we're here to help you understand the game. And I did not know I have to talk to my people about this one because this one is up and up and up and away. Whereas these are going down and down and down and down. That's what we need. We have people who are on these trades right here. Ta-da. All right, look, I got to go. Y'all take care. And we'll see y'all on the next flight. But we'll give you guys this link in the description. So don't you fret. Gotta go. Arrivederci.